well, what do we have here? It looks like L'Oreal has a glycolic acid peeling toner. Smooths in 30 seconds, reveal glow. 5% glycolic aloe vera. They're hiding what the other ingredients are, but it says it's fragrance free. So this would be a good product for somebody who is trying to improve the rate of clearance of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It also can improve skin texture. The way to use this, you can actually use it in the morning, apply it onto clean skin and allow it to absorb and then put sunscreen on over. Glycolic acid will increase your sensitivity to the sun. Now, you can use it at nighttime as well. However, if you're using retinol or retinoid, which you would be using at nighttime in that case, then you don't want to use them together because it can be too irritating. What is this? A glycolic acid cleansing gel. This is new. If you use a vitamin C serum, I suggest one way to improve penetration of vitamin C is to wash your face first with a glycolic or salicylic acid face wash can help improve penetration. Oh, and look, this also has salicylic acid in it. It's got menthol, which is fragrance. It's gonna cause a little bit of a tingle. You know the, you know the sensation. We've talked about this hyaluronic acid serum before. I've been getting a lot of questions. Is hyaluronic acid uh, complete BS in skincare products? Absolutely not. Um, sodium hyaluronate is a salt of hyaluronic acid. And that's what's in most skincare products. It can improve the hydration status of the stratum corneum, the top dead layer of the skin. That improves enzyme function in the skin and improves ultimately skin barrier function. Topically applied hyaluronic acid also can improve healing. It's useful in treating radiation dermatitis. Yeah, so hyaluronic acid applied topically is definitely a helpful ingredient in skincare products. However, it does increase penetration of other ingredients, making them more likely to cause irritation for you. Ooh, we have a good collection here of the Walgreens sunscreens. This is a favorite of mine, the SPF 50 Sensitive Skin. It's a combination sunscreen. It's got zinc and octocrylon. So it gives kind of a mid-range white cast. Not too noticeable on paler skin types, but if you do have a deep skin tone, it will leave a cast, but it's fragrance free. You know, it's pretty moisturizing and super affordable. And, and if you have a health savings account, you can use those dollars for sunscreen. What's this hydrating one? Lightweight and fast absorbing. This is a chemical sunscreen, shouldn't leave a cast. It does have fragrance in it. That's a good deal though. I've got their sport version, also with fragrance and a chemical sunscreen. Somebody asked me, is this like meaningful? Truthfully, the way to get this on your product is to pay the Skin Can Cancer Foundation a fee. <laughs> and we have a kids spray. Now sprays are useful, but they have limitations in that they're prone to skip areas of inadequate coverage. So when you spray them on, make sure you rub them in. This one has fragrance too, it's a chemical sunscreen. Oh look, sea breeze, basically just scented alcohol. <laughs> Bio oil. A few years ago I did a review on this. It's nothing but fragrance, literally. Yeah, speaking of hyaluronic acid, it's not, topically applied hyaluronic acid has actually been shown to be helpful in these things, whereas this has not. So I would recommend using hyaluronic acid instead of that. <laughs> Ew, we have some antiperspirant. Wilderness with lavender. <laughs> okay, what wilderness just randomly has lavender in it? Lavender like typically grows in a field or a volcano. What person wants to smell like a volcano? I've never been to a volcano, but something tells me they maybe have like a sulfury smell. I'm probably wrong about that, but oh God, that poop emoji is everywhere. We have some products by Bliss here, the vitamin C and tripeptide. This particular vitamin C is 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. That is a form of vitamin C that's a lot more stable than ascorbic acid, but unfortunately hasn't really been shown to work as far as brightening. And I mean, it might brighten because it's an antioxidant, but it's not gonna get into the skin and boost up collagen production. Uh, this has fragrance in it too. Boo! What's the Bright Idea Serum? See, this is going to be a more lightweight version of that. Serum has always been this nebulous term. This is, yeah, basically the same thing. It does have licorice root, um, which 
is anti-inflammatory. Has glabridin, which actually can help in inhibiting how pigment gets transferred around and have a skin brightening effect. Ew, Rock came out with a new eye cream <laughs> with hyaluronic acid and peptides. Peptides can act as a humectant in skincare products, but sometimes they can actually help in modulating signaling pathways that lead to boosting up of collagen production. This particular eye cream also has caffeine in it, which can help and improve the look of can help improve the look of dark under eye circles temporarily. Although you don't really need an eye cream. What is their new multi-correction hydrate plump? This is a chemical sunscreen. It shouldn't leave a cast, but it may burn and sting around the eyes. Unfortunately, it has fragrance and is, which is that? They don't disclose, but rock products are often pricey. What was in their capsules? Coconut oil. Comment below on if you're somebody who's acne that flares with coconut oil. It has been shown to help people with eczema. Uh, jojoba seed oil. Is this just a bunch of emollients? These are just little hyaluronic acid serums. These actually look pretty good. Glucomannan, it's another humectant. Skin conditioning ingredient. Cetaphil's new Healthy Radiance Renewing Cream diminishes the appearance of dark spots and brown patches. It says it's got niacinamide in it. Niacinamide's good for redness, hyperpigmentation, moisture barrier, peppermint leaf extract. Boo, that's probably gonna tingle a bit. Ooh, they have a sunscreen version of it too. SPF 30, chemical sunscreen. Looks like they left the peppermint out of this, which is good. And niacinamide may also help in reducing the extent of oxidative stress in the skin upon exposure to UV. Looks like Cetaphil, boy, Cetaphil's really been pumping out some new stuff. It looks like they came out with a urea cream here, Cracked Skin Repair Lotion. Urea is a favorite ingredient of mine. And this has dimethicone in it, which is a skin protectant. The urea is gonna be helpful for improving the health of the moisture barrier. It's a humectant and a natural moisturizing factor. This also has lactic acid in it, another, which is an alpha hydroxy acid that likewise can help improve uh, the moisture barrier and help exfoliate dry, rough skin cells. This is gonna be a good one if you have keratosis pilaris. It's the Cracked Skin Repair Balm with beta-glucan. I'm liking the ingredient selection in these. Again, dimethicone, that's a good skin protectant. Shea oil, now that's an ingredient you don't see much. Usually you see the butter. Uh, this doesn't look like it has urea in it. Beta-glucan is a good humectant though. Hmm, it looks promising. Good for the hands, you know, if you've got fissured fingertips from washing your hands too much, I bet that'd be a good one. Oh my gosh, you guys, Neutrogena put their retinol in a fragrance-free serum capsule. Their retinol is really good. It, um, it's been around for a long time. It's a good product. That looks good, although 35 bucks, that's kind of expensive. They also have their Retinol Pro 0.5% Power Serum. Power! Comment below and if you know what YouTuber says that a lot. This one has fragrance in it, unfortunately. I've covered these recently in, I think, a Walmart video, but this is new. The Micellar Cleansing Milk. Makeup Melting Micellar Cleansing Milk. I wonder if this is as good as the, as the Aven Extremely Gentle Cleanser, which is like a lotion. The ingredient looks, looks pretty good. I'd be interested to try this, see how it compares to that Aven product that I like a lot. Y'all know I'm not a fan of micellar waters themselves. I just find that they're not effective and they always burn and sting around the eyes. But that Aven product that I, I brought up is really good. It's more of a lotion and it's super gentle. It's actually moisturizing and it actually does a really good job removing water resistant sunscreen and makeup. And I'd be interested to see how this compares. It has panthenol, which is moisturizing. This is a favorite. This is becoming a 2021 skincare favorite. This is, is competitive with the Peach Slices moisturizer, but this is the consistency of the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer, which was a 2020 skincare favorite. Uh, 
Different came out with an acne clearing body scrub. I'm not a fan of scrubs, you guys know. This one has salicylic acid. That's a good ingredient for acne prone skin on the body. Similar to the Neutrogena acne wash. You could take advantage of this uh, to treat acne on the rear end, the back, the chest, anywhere on the body. It does have fragrance in it. These kind of little microbeads, I don't know how aggressive they are on the skin barrier. They, they may actually be end up being pretty gentle. Oh, it looks like this also has glycolic acid. That's going to help exfoliate dry, dead skin cells and just improve the health of the moisture barrier. It's also got kaolin. That's going to help absorb excess oiliness. Shea butter, that's moisturizing. This actually has a pretty good ingredient selection despite being a scrub. We have a L'Oreal Age Perfect Cell Renewal Midnight Serum. Looks like they're competing with Estee Lauder's Midnight Estee Lauder has something with Midnight in the title. Hey, deal is $43.99. What is this going to do for us? What is this going to do? Saccharomyces extract? Ferment extract? All right, that's rich in antioxidants and humectants. Salicylic, caper oil salicylic acid. No? That is a modified form of salicylic acid, otherwise known as LHA. It's in a lot of like La Roche-Posay products. It's L'Oreal's deal it's a good ingredient it's a little more precise in how it exfoliates than just run-of-the-mill salicylic acid how is vaseline defying age right here is it putting us in a pickle jar hypoallergenic fragrance free collagen prolipids vaseline has some seriously good body moisturizers this one has fragrance in it Vaseline scented moisturizers, I have to admit, they tend to have a nice smell to them, kind of like Jergens. I'm over here in the dietary supplements. Alpha lipoic acid is an antioxidant. Now, consuming it orally, it actually has very poor bioavailability. Uh, however, applied topically, it has been shown to reduce DNA damage from UV exposure. Astaxanthin is another antioxidant. I would imagine has poor bioavailability, but also, uh, applied topically uh, may help in reducing oxidative stress as well. You have to be careful with vitamin A supplements. They can really dry out your skin and they actually ultimately can end up worsening acne because of the dryness issue. And vitamin A accumulates in the body and it can become toxic quite easily. B12 supplements. I take a B12 supplement because I follow a vegan diet, but you have to be careful with B12 supplements. Some people find that if they get too high they take too many B12 supplements, too, too many milligram, micrograms, actually causes acne-like breakouts. We don't exactly know the mechanism. Ooh, we have some Walgreens brand dupes for some L'Oreal products here. The Anti-Wrinkle and Firmer Look Moisturizer. $11.49. What is the magic here, pray tell? Another scented moisturizer? Yep. <laughs> Anti-wrinkle formula eye cream. Get a glue can and mushroom extract. Those are humectants. Help improve hydration. Smooth out wrinkles temporarily. What do we have here? How are we going to be revitalized? Re Let me guess. We're going to be revitalized by another scented moisturizer. Yep. Now this one has hydrolyzed soy protein in it. Soy is good for hyperpigmentation and it does have a wrinkle smoothing effect. It's got um, genistein in it as part of its constitution. Helps reduce oxidative stress on the skin. It's a good ingredient, soy. What's the Revitalift Miracle Blur? This is a sunscreen chemical. Shouldn't leave it cast. And claims to be fragrance free. Really short ingredient list. It has silicones which can have a skin blurring effect this actually looks promising spf 30 opti blur technology is the opti blur technology just silicones they do have a poor blurring effect they've got a miracle blur eye treatment too erases the look of crow's feet dark under eye circles and puffiness before and after never believe those This has peptides in it, which can have a skin firming effect. This has a 
LHA in it. It can help with skin cell turnover. And it also can help improve hyperpigmentation. This one's got hydrolyzed soy protein in it as well. That can have a skin brightening effect. Retinyl palmitate is an antioxidant. Caffeine, good for under eye hyperpigmentation, dark under eye circles. Ascorbyl glucoside is a form of vitamin C that's very stable, but whether or not it actually gets into the skin to boost up collagen production is questionable, but it can actually help. It can help in uh, improving hyperpigmentation temporarily. The triple power eye treatment. Caffeine, again, apricot kernel oil, dimethicone, and adenosine. Hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, that's going to help with just improving hydration, plumping up the top dead layer of the skin, smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines. That one looks promising too, but like, just use your moisturizer. Jurgens came out with an essential oil. Ooh, what is the cloud cream? Paraben free, free of dyes. Jurgens cloud cream. I'm intrigued. This does have fragrance in it. And no clouds. <laughs> Wow, I got into a long conversation with the Walgreens beauty counter uh, employee and she was very helpful and she was asking about my YouTube video and she's like, did you show them this? Did you show them that? Yeah, she was really nice and really helpful. Always a good time in Walgreens. They're really nice and they're always like going into Walgreens. They always have a good selection and uh, their employees are pretty knowledgeable about the products they have on the shop. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this shop with me video. If you like these, on the end slate will be my prior shop with me video if you wanna check that out. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.